Hey everyone, my name is Shrika, I'm joined by Anvesha and welcome to a tutorial on how to make an engineering portfolio for FTC. In this video, we're going to be walking through what should be included, key tips and aesthetics. We're going to abide by the game manual's criteria for the engineering portfolio and show you what makes for the most effective, thorough, yet easy to read portfolio. Okay, so to begin with, in FTC, the engineering portfolio is crucial for qualifying for the Inspire, Think, Connect, Control, Motivate, and Design Awards. To compete effectively, your portfolio should A. Include a summary about the robot design. Specifically, you want to make sure to have engineering content describing examples of the underlying science, mathematics, and game strategies in a summary fashion. To do this, try to answer questions like how did the team arrive at the design solution and provide examples that show the team has a clear understanding of the engineering design process. One way to do this is by including examples of lessons learned and the current status of the team and their robot design. Also make sure to describe any creative or unique features on your robot. Your bot should have a balance between form, function, and aesthetics, and to showcase these features, put CAD images or robot drawings of the overall design and components. B. Beyond just showing your team knows what they're doing robot-wise, make sure to add the team organization plan. This plan describes the robot team's future goals and the steps the team will take to reach those goals and develop skills. Examples of what the plan should include are team identity, fundraising goals, sustainability goals, timelines, outreach to non-technical groups, finances, and community service goals. And also include how you acquire new mentors or how you acquired new knowledge and expertise from your mentors. In summary, your design, your engineering portfolio should not only demonstrate a deep understanding of the robot design process, but also reflect your team's strategic planning and growth. By effectively showcasing both technical expertise and organizational goals, your portfolio will position your team as strong contenders for key FTC awards. Moving on, we're just going to cover some tips and tricks for curating an engineering portfolio in the most efficient way possible. It's important to note that your main engineering portfolio has a maximum of 15 pages, 16 including the cover page your team can have. Number 1. Conciseness is key. Keep your information on every page short and simple to convey. Don't write multiple paragraphs per page. Instead, conveying your information through bullet points would be much easier to comprehend for both you, your team, and judges. Number two, have a good balance of robot-related and team-related content in your portfolio. In other words, don't overflow your portfolio with 10 pages of programming information or 10 pages of your team's outreach. Make sure there's a good balance between them because both are equally important to being a well-rounded team. Number three, don't be afraid to use pictures. Put in pictures of your team at competitions, build sessions, or even snippets of your code over time to showcase the evolution and progress of your team. Photo documentation sketches are crucial in an engineering process. They convey ideas that may be difficult to put into words, so don't worry about taking up space with your photos because they're definitely worth it. Number four, aesthetic wise, use page numbers. It makes it easy to reference them later on during control award submissions or when communicating with a judge. Number five, bring out your team's personality. Add things that are meaningful and distinct to your team specifically. A unique portfolio is much more engaging than one the judges have read over and over again. Under this point, don't just have black ink on white paper. Be colorful and creative. For example, color code your port according to your team's colors and use designs to captivate the judges. A portfolio with a concise template and proper organization is ultimately much more easy for judges to follow along with. Last but not least, have multiple copies of your portfolio printed out because after submitting your engineering portfolio at the beginning of tournament day to the judges for awards, you will not be getting it back until the end of the day so keeping an extra copy would allow you to show it to pit judges and visitors during the competitions. Remember, the portfolio should inspire the judges to want to see the specific detailed engineering content in your notebook. Portfolio format is less important but enables the judges to understand the team's design maturity, organizational capabilities, and overall team structure. And that's it. We hope this video was helpful whether you're a rookie or a veteran team. Hopefully you were able to take away something beneficial from this video. Don't 
don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for all of our upcoming videos and tutorials. If there is a tutorial you want to see, do comment the suggestion below and make sure to check out our updated website where we will post additional guides and training. Thank you for watching!